Hi, I'm Chris Armstrong with Regal Technologies, and we're here today talking about some conducted emissions measurements. And we have with us Patrick Andre from Andre Consulting. Hello. Hi, Patrick. What'd you bring us today? I've brought an LED light, um, which I've placed a, uh, a power splitter on it, and I've got a current probe on one of the leads of the, uh, of the power line. And all I'm going to do is measure the conducted emissions on that power line to the LED. And if I turn that on, you can see the spectrum come up on, on this analyzer. Now, we've got the spectrum set up from 0 to 150 kilohertz, so we could see some of the low frequency power, uh, that, uh, power noise that's coming through. Now, if I hit peak search here, you'll see that it pops up right away at 41.25 kilohertz, which is probably the switching frequency of the power supply inside the LED. Great, so that's a great look at a, sort of the real-time spectrum analysis capabilities of the RSA 5000. You're getting those kind of real-time seamless measurements, right. giving you that, that depth, showing you where those signals are. So, a couple different peaks in there. Yes, there's a lot of information that you're going to find in, in here. They're, they're showing up a lot of detail in some of the noise, and some of the stuff, like these peaks in here, they look very solid, but they're not going to show up very well in a swept measurement. Absolutely. It's difficult to find. Great. So let's see, what, what else do we want to look at today in conducted well, emissions? Let's take a look at some of the higher frequencies here. If I were to go up to, say, 100 megahertz, and I have a span of 40 megahertz up here, you're going to see a spectrum up here that might look somewhat familiar to some people. And the reason why I bring that up is if I were to actually turn the power off to the LED, that doesn't go away. In fact, you see some of those increase a little bit. Hmm. What you're actually looking at is the FM band. Now, the trouble is, is that power cords and a lot of interconnecting cables are wonderful antennas uh -huh. up at this frequency range. And when we're troubleshooting, we'll often find that the, the noise from the local FM stations are being picked up on these cables and they are being uh, observed on an analyzer. I bring that up because people will often chase these things and try to solve problems that aren't real. Yeah, great reason to do a background EM search. Make sure you're looking at real signals coming from your device. Correct. Excellent. Great. Thank you, Patrick. You're welcome.